Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kale Anonymous show. Does it have a name? No, now he's gonna eat pizza. Talk about nerd shit. Don't demonetize his channel, YouTube overlords. Well, I did it. Some of you guys were excited about this. One of you was really impatient. But this is our first story because apparently Chuck E. Cheese is tricking people into buying its pizza off Grubhub. And I'm gonna try it, because I haven't had Chuck E. Cheese pizza since I was like a small child. Uh, but let me explain. Now, obviously, because of what's going on in the world, people can't go to Chuck E. Cheese and play skee ball. So Chuck E. Cheese has gotta make money somehow. So on Grubhub, they're listing themselves as Pasquale's Pizza and Wings. Here's what a rep from Chuck E. Cheese had to say. Pasquale's Pizza and Wings uses fresh homemade pizza dough just like Chuck E. Cheese, but it's a different pizza that features a thicker crust and extra sauce, giving consumers a more flavorful, more premium experience. All right, enough of that. I, I wanted to try this pizza and I wanted to see if it was worth getting mad if you got tricked. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like they're all different sizes, like the controversial thing that was going around for Chuck E. Cheese. But we're here for taste. Yeah, that's definitely arcade place pizza. The cheese is okay. Everything is okay. A very doughy, but very dry pizza. And, and they put a lot of spice on it to hide or boost up the flavor. I don't know, I'm kind of vibing it. I I'm like teleporting myself to Chuck E. Cheese while I'm eating it as a kid. Okay, so let's try the wings now. Okay, I like these. They've got a nice spice and they're really garlicky. These don't let me down. And they were $5. Anyway, if you want to get Pascali's, it was $15 for the pizza, $5 for the wings. That ain't bad. I'm going to take this moment to talk about the weird lore of Chuck E. Cheese. All right, so Chuck was an orphan who didn't know his birthday. And then he won a Pong, like the video game competition, won $50 out of that, flew to New York, decided he wanted to try singing and then he got booed on stage. Okay, you following me here, what? <laughs> anyway, that's where things turned around. While he was on stage getting booed, he started singing Happy Birthday. The kids were like super into it. And then Pasquale is where he was performing his pizza joint and they decided to open up a restaurant so that kids could have, they could celebrate birthdays every day. But he started from a real dark place. All right, our next story is about the Justice League Snyder Cut that was semi-announced via poster. Here it is. That's it. I was expecting more. Listen, if you don't know what the Snyder Cut is, Zack Snyder was making the Justice League, had to leave partway through, so Joss Whedon finished it for him, but apparently Zack Snyder had his own cut, and now they're going to release it on HBO Max, which is a brand new streaming service, coming sometime in 2021, no official date. I really don't want to get into like the lore of the Snyder Cut and like what has gone through all of that, but Rotten Tomatoes, who yes, sometimes I work with, posted kind of like a great timeline of everything and I actually learned some facts on there. I'll leave that in the description, but are you excited about the Snyder Cut? I'm, I'm curious. I am not mad about this pizza. It's not amazing, but it's cheap and I'm still teleporting back to like the arcade. Hi, uh, yeah, this is Kale editing the video. I ate too much pizza. So I wanted to tell you about some celebrity interviews that I just did this week with Dakota Johnson, Ice Cube, and Tracy Ellis Ross. It was for their movie, The High Note. That's gonna be going up on Fandango. I just wanted to let you guys know about some of the other stuff I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if it's up as of the posting of this video because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to edit or how long that video is gonna take to edit. Anyway, it's up, I'm doing cool stuff. Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross rules. And Ice Cube is exactly as I expected him. Oh, and like leave a comment saying that I sent you because that would be cool, that would be like a flex. That's a good flex. Like a good flex, like a good flex and a good flex. All right, one more news story. And then I have a question for you that's gonna help decide the next two episodes. All right, let's talk about the SpongeBob thing at the beginning because that's a new story in itself. And it's from 15AI, which is a website you can go and type in anything you want and SpongeBob will say it, but not just SpongeBob. Also GLaDOS from Portal, uh, some of the doctors from Doctor Who, uh, some of the characters from Undertale. A Super Smash Brothers announcer, go try it out. I wanna see what kind of screwed up stuff you guys make all those characters say. I will leave, a, yes, I will leave a link in the description on how to get there. It's a very specific link. So go check it out, 
tweet at me. Tweet, tweet me some of the screwed up stuff you have them say. All right, so here's where you guys are gonna help, um, besides leaving a comment saying that Kale sent you. I want you to help me decide what to do for the next episode. I'm either going to take an edible at the beginning of it and see if I can finish doing the news before it kicks in, or I'm going to shoot the whole thing vlogger style, well, edit it vlogger style, where I remove all of my pauses and I just experience for the first time what it's like to make a video like that, because it seems horrible to me. Also, everyone, thank you so much for the warm welcome back you guys left on the last video. It really meant a lot to me to like have such positive reaction um, to me coming back and you guys just be outspoken about it. So I want you to have the bite of this pizza. So go ahead, take your bite. There you go. Let me know what you thought of that pizza. What, what you thought of that bite. Was that good? Would you pay $15 for this? All right, well, that's it. I was going to do like a Snyder cut of this episode where it was going to be longer and, and moodier, but people were so excited about this pizza thing that I thought I'd just, you know, get it out. But hey, who knows? Maybe next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. It's Pascali's. Aw. Not a good review for my cat.